Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and finally we got some Flash Season 2 footage. Now, basically, this little teaser teaser of a teaser trailer was like, I don't know how many seconds, 10, 20 seconds? And it was barely anything, but at the same time, it was everything. Uh, this was basically for the first episode because... Uh, or I think it was for the first episode, because I do believe that the Atom Smasher will be the villain in, ep in the first episode. Um, so yeah, if you guys didn't know already, the Atom Smasher, he is coming to The Flash. Um, we, we, the, the Edge from WWE, he will be, he's gonna be playing him, and, uh, we, I mean, I don't know about how great his acting will be, but I don't think it really matters because he's going to be wearing the mask most of the time, so I'm not really worried about that. But let's talk about the Adam Smasher character. I've already kind of talked about him in uh, uh, past videos, I believe. Um, so he's he was part of the original Justice Society. He is basically almost the opposite, kind of, of Ray Palmer. He was a hero. Um, but, you know, the Adam Smasher was originally a hero, but he had a really dark element to him. Uh, he always wanted destruction, he, you know, revenge, whatever. So he, then he ended up going dark for a while, and he was sort of known as an anti-hero. So that's how I'm expecting him to come on as the Flash, onto the Flash, you know. We'll see him as a villain, but I'm hoping throughout the season the Flash starts to either work with him, or Ray Palmer starts to work with him, uh, because he's intrigued by the technology of this guy. And if you haven't found a resemblance, uh, the Atom Smasher is basically, like I said, he's the almost the opposite of the Atom. Because the Atom shrinks down, the Atom Smasher grows up. And not really grows up, but he like grows his whole body, he grows his bones, it's very a painful transformation, but it's, it's awesome. And uh, I am just beyond excited for this. I'm, I mean, I'm very much surprised also that, the, that you know, they would start off the season with such a high-budget special effects. Because if you think about it, you know, they have, to, they have to make this look believable where this man has, is, you know, as tall as skyscrapers and is taller than skyscrapers. And that, then you have to make it believable that this, this lightning guy has to go and fight him and find him and, and try to take this giant down. Literally, he's a giant. That is how I'm looking at this. That's got to be so expensive overall for Greg Berlanti and you know their whole crew to be like, yeah, we gotta we gotta spend a lot of money on this first episode. You know, we have we only have we don't have a you know massive budget. We have to see if we can layer this out. So I'm I mean I'm hoping the special effects look good because after seeing what we got from Grodd, after seeing what they've been able to do with Barry and you know. Um, you know, just the, the speed, the, the racing effects, and all, all of what they've been able to do has looked very good and actually believable. You know, uh, from a TV show perspective, you don't expect things like Rod to look great. But they looked almost, it all looked almost like it could be movie quality. So that was what I was really excited about. So, yeah, now we're at the Atom Smasher, and it's like, ha, huh, how are they going to make this work? But I'm really excited about it. The other thing is maybe they don't have him grow to the size of the skyscraper, but they just have him him like just grow like a two feet taller than Barry, which it, it could end up being hard for Barry also. But at the same time, I don't get the full effect that I would get from an actual Adam Smasher. Uh, now the suit wise, the suit looks awesome, and uh, you know the, the, he doesn't really have the, the blue mask and he doesn't have the red uh, you know like vest armored vest piece, but he does have like this, uh, this like kind of bronzy kind of colored helmet, which looks, the helmet looks almost identical to how it looked in the comics, uh, except it is just bronze, and then his vest thing is like this blackish, like dark, uh, but I'm really excited about this, you know, I'd really like to see a meeting between Ray Palmer and, you know, Al, and I think the two of them would be very interesting to see together. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that almost like there's an episode where the Adam Smasher needs Ray Palmer or he needs Team Flash to help him with his technology or his suit or, you know, maybe his, his, uh, his bones are growing, you know, without him knowing and he's just almost, his, his you know, it, his bones are expanding throughout his skin and his skin's not shifting, so maybe he's dying or something and he needs Team Flash. Very inter I'd be very interested to see this. And now we've got a new doctor who will be the doc, you know, become the female Dr. Light. And I am 
Just so excited for The Flash right now. Uh, a new trailer, hmm, probably within the next couple weeks, I'd assume, because then we're in September, and then we're only about a month away from The Flash and Arrow premieres. So be expecting full-on trailers for them. You know, Supergirl, the pilot trailer's been out for months already. So that, that the ser se uh, series trailer, um, Gotham, we've already gotten some stuff for it. We got a, a short little trailer, and then we got the Villains Arising trailer. So it, when the Flash and Arrow trailers do drop, be, it just expect something beyond amazing. Because they're not going to throw out some lackluster, uh, you know, Flash trailer for us where we just see Barry Allen running or we just see Barry, Barry Allen in jail. You know, they're, they're probably going to show us some killer frost, you know, or maybe vibe or we're probably going to get a clear shot of Zoom or, you know, some, some of the maybe Mirror Master. Uh, maybe, pr definitely, I'm assuming some Jay Garrick. Wally West, uh, maybe even Vandal Savage tease. It's gonna be amazing. Same thing goes with Arrow. We'll probably see the new green, the Green Arrow suit in action. We'll probably see Anarchy. We'll see definitely see Damian Dark. We'll definitely see Mr. Terrific. Um, hopefully, maybe we even see Constantine. I mean, there's just so much, and I'm so excited for it. So I will be doing trailer breakdown reviews and everything. Uh, back when, you know, or when it actually comes out. So make sure you subscribe to get all of that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, subscribe. Go check out our new Infinity War video. Some cool Quicksilver. Like he's like a, being, becoming resurrected somehow. He'll be resurrected. Ultron may return in Infinity War. A lot of great stuff. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, I'm Ryder signing off from Toys with Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.